2017 Renault Colios completes Renault's SUV lineup. Large 5-seat SUV completes Renault range revamp, but we won't get it until summer 2017. The new Renault Colios is on its way having made its debut in Europe at the 2016 Paris Motor Show. This large SUV is expected to rival the likes of the Kia Sorento, Ford Edge, Hyundai Santa Fe and Land Rover Discovery Sport when it eventually lands in the UK in the summer of 2017. The arrival of the Colios will mark the completion of Renault's overhaul of its entire lineup, a process which first began when design boss Lawrence Van Den Acker refreshed the Clio in 2012. Renault's Paris show star, the Trezor concept, hints at what the future has in store beyond the Colios. The new SUV will be placed above Renault's other subs, the Capture and the Catjar, and will focus on rear seat space and practicality, a recipe sure to appeal to family buyers. This is a case that will only get stronger if the possibility of a seven-seat version is realized at a later date. In terms of styling, the Colios takes on Renault's new family face with C-shaped LED headlights merging into the large, chrome-slated front grille. In profile though, the new SUV shows its inflated size and is unlike any other Renault that has come before it. In this sense Renault has tried to soften the impact with a window line that kinks at the rear for a sleek look, and the high roof should ensure ample space inside. And with 213 mm of ground clearance, the car will have a real all-terrain ability according to the Colios's creators. At the rear wide tail lights stretch left to right, making the Megana's influence clear. However the Katjar's bumper-mounted number plate has been shifted to the bootlet, with two exhaust pipes completing the look. While Renault showed off the Colios in its range-topping initial Paris trim, it's unlikely that this particular version will be available when the car goes on sale in the UK. Having said that, top-spec Colios models will get the same portrait, tablet-style touchscreen system currently in the Megane and Scenic, as well as leather seats and sophisticated digital dials. Even the lower-spec cars will come with a 7-inch landscape display with pinch-to-zoom functionality, and mobile connectivity via USB and Bluetooth. Some models will be equipped with heated and ventilated front seats, as well as customizable LED interior lighting. The Colios's SUV DNA is evident across the cabin with two grab handles either side of the screen, and the wide center console affords the car a more grown-up feel, too. Renault Colios, Practicality and Boot Space When it comes to practicality, the Colios is impressive. A 624-liter boot is 39 times larger than the one you'll find in a Hyundai Santa Fe, and Renault insists that the newest member of its range boasts a total load volume of 1,690 liters with the rear seats folded away. An extra 35 liters of storage space litters the cabin, 11 liters of which are contributed by the sizable glove box. Knee room of 289 millimeters is among the most generous in class, and allegedly there is plenty of space when it comes to other limbs and appendages as well. New Renault Colios, Engines Under the bonnet, the Colios shares much of its mechanical structure with the Nissan X-Trail. Selectable four-wheel drive will feature on some models, along with a range of petrol and diesel engines from the current Renault and Nissan selection. The DCI 130 diesel is expected to be the most popular with customers, combined with either a six-speed manual or an Xtronic automatic gearbox. Definitive engine specs will be confirmed nearer the launch date. As is normally the case with Renault, safety will be a key selling point. Active emergency braking, lane departure warning, traffic sign recognition and tiredness detection will all be available, together with automatic high-slash-low beams, front and rear parking sensors and a rear-view camera. Despite its size and targeted rivals, the car will only come with five seats when it is launched. However, Renault's chief competitive officer Thierry Balor has previously said that seven seats were never the priority. The car is ready and we expect it to be on the market by the end of the year, he told us. 
but it is not a seven-seater. Asked why that is the case, he replied, it is a good question and one we are questioning for ourselves at the moment. That doesn't mean it will never happen, but for the moment it won't have seven seats. Balor added that the car has been designed in such a way that adding two more seats would be possible at a later date. Renault believes the Colios is destined for a global audience with sales kicking off in Australia, Turkey, the Gulf states and some Latin American markets in the third quarter of 2016. Russia and Europe, including the UK can expect to see the car later in 2017.